Hello and welcome back to the course of mechatronics. I'm Mandar Dado from SI to CV and today we are going to deal with the tactile sensors. So objective of today's video is to study tactile sensors and their types. Outcome is the student will be able to explain tactile sensors, different types of tactile sensors. Today we are going to go through the points like tactile sensor that is what is tactile sensor then types of tactile sensors like force or torque sensor, dynamic sensor, thermal sensor, advantages and applications. The tactile sensor, it measures the information arising in response to the physical interaction with the environment. The sense of touch in humans is generally modeled that is cutaneous sense and the kinesthetic sense. Cutaneous sensation that is cutaneous senses receives sensory inputs from the receptors embedded in the skin those senses temperatures pressure and pain kinesthetic sensations kinesthetic senses receives sensory inputs from the receptors located within the muscles or tendons or joints those sense body position movement and equilibrium the cutaneous touch has the capability of detecting the stimuli resulting from the mechanical stimulation pain or temperature and the kinesthetic touch receives senses sensor input from the receptors present inside the muscle tendons or joints the types of tactile sensors there are different types of tactile sensor like force sensor or torque sensor dynamic sensor and thermal sensor we'll go through those one by one first force or torque sensor these sensors are used in combination with the tactile array to give the information for force control these types of sensors can sense load anywhere like the distal link of the manipulator and in constraints as a skin sensor. The skin sensor generally provides more accurate force measurement at higher bandwidths. If the manipulator link is defined generally and the signal point contact is assumed then the force or torque sensor can give the information about the contact location of force and moments. It is called as incentric tactile sensor. Next, dynamic sensor. Dynamic sensors are smaller accelerometers at the finger strips or at the skin of the robotic finger. The general function like Pacinian corpuscle in humans and have equally large respective fields. Thus, one or two skin accelerometers are sufficient for entire finger. These sensors effectively detect the making and breaking of the contact. The vibrations linked with the sliding over textures, textured surfaces. This is the pictorial view of a dynamic sensor. Uh, it has uh, different components like force sensor, then multiple mounting options are there altimeter is there, 3 axis accelerometer is there, onboard memory is also available with this sensor and additional hook for clamping. The stress rate sensor is a second type of dynamic tactile sensor. If the fingertip is sliding at the speed of a few centimeters per second over small bumps or pits on a surface, the temporary changes in the skin become important. A piezoelectric polymer such as PVDF produces a charge in response to damages that can be applied to produce a current which is directly proportional to the range of change. Next that is thermal sensor. Thermal sensors are important to the human ability to identify the material of the objects made but some are used in robotics as well. The thermal sensing involves detecting thermal gradients in the skin which are correspondent to both the temperature and the thermal conductivity of the object. Robotic thermal sensors are involved in the Peltier junctions in combination with the thermistors. This is a pictorial view of a thermal sensor. The tactile sensors are developed to provide tactile sensing abilities for teleoperational manipulator and intelligent robots. Tactile sensors can identify a normal force applied to the tactile pixels for mesmerizing the force control and the tactile images and to generate object recognition. However, to obtain tactile images and normal forces, the information of 
tangential is critical for force control and slide prevention which is mesmerizing to task success thus the three dimensional tactile sensors are required there are several three dimensional tactile sensors developed by using the piezo resistive or capacitive and optional sensing element and these tactile sensors are fabricated by the mems technology the integrated sensing element and the process pre processing circuits are for the compactness but these are too weak and easily broken for most of the applications and for an example the force range of a tactile sensor is only 0.01 newton uh, and the other tactile sensors are not provided by the mems technology the below advantages of tactile sensors the tactile sensor has no external component and cables compact extraction verified tactile sensing technology from the robotics applications robotics computer hardware security system touch screen devices or mobile phones computing nasa uses the sensors at the international space station for helping humans with the repairing and maintenance in the environment nasa has tried many tactile sensors in robotics which are in the initial stage for more information regarding tactile sensors this link is provided you can use this link for having uh, more information on the tactile sensors thank you